So I came up here. This is about probably really a three hour drive from my house. I got a late start yesterday. I didn't leave until like 2 or 2.30. Two got up here late, had to pack my mules. Get the heck out of here. Nice and cool and fresh. These mules are kind of feeling it. Got such a late start. What's wrong with me? I had plenty of time. The white-tailed deer. Coos deer. Ah, oh, that's cool. It's getting dark. I gotta find a place to camp. We're gonna stop, set up camp. I'm gonna have to hang that tarp up because it looks like rain. This will be camp for the night. See if I can get things strung up and, and done. Oh yeah, that'll work. Huh? 
Oh. oh, I gotta get those saddles and everything in here before it rains. The rain will be coming out of the out of the west, so I pitched it that way. Shouldn't be anything coming in from the east. Should be in good shape. Rivers down below. It can't come up high enough to get us here. Really not too bad a camp. Just got here too late, too late at night. This is hard. I don't even think I'm gonna have a fire tonight. I'm gonna drink some water and go to bed. My inReach messenger isn't working. It might be, it says it's sending messages out, but I, uh, I can't receive anything and I don't know why. Hopefully, hopefully, they're getting my messages, or my wife is, and uh, she knows I'm okay. That's what, that's the worst thing that bothers me is that you get up here and they can't get a hold of you. And, you know, she worries. Uh, and I, I mean, I guess I don't blame her, but we're spoiled now, you know, with these messengers and these devices we carry. Used to, we, I'd leave and nobody would hear from me for three or four days. And... Uh, that was just the way it was. Now we have these messengers, we have ways to communicate. And if you don't communicate, they automatically think something's wrong. Well, you could have a device malfunction like I think this thing's doing. It's real overcast. So maybe that's it. Maybe the messages are going through, but I'm not receiving back. It says they're going through. So hopefully she's getting them and everything's okay at home. Nothing I can do about it if they're not okay at home, but at least she won't send the National Guard out looking for me. So that's a pretty neat little lantern right there. It's propane. Ah, I was gonna build a fire, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the evening. No, no, go on. So I didn't, I didn't even go to bed last night until 10.30. Trying to get my messenger to work. Finally at like, well, it was 1.30 in the morning. I heard, boo doo doo And I thought, oh, my message just went through. And, and uh, my wife responded. And I was sleeping pretty good, so I didn't even look. I just knew that what that sound was. <laughs> so about 3.30 in the morning, I woke up enough. I had to, I had to pee. I thought, well, I'll check. And I checked. and it, The message was, how are you doing? Hello, hello, how are you doing? <laughs> Send me your location, whatever. So I sent her a message then. Say I'm fine. So now we've been trying to. She's wondering what took so long. This stupid thing wasn't working. I don't know. It's been, maybe it was because it was overcast. I have no idea. In a way, I kind of miss the old days when I just left and nobody would hear from me for four or five days. Of course, that was with my first wife. She didn't really care where I was at anyway.
it's been several years ago, four, five years ago, me and a couple buddies of mine decided we're going to go on a pack trip. And we're just going to go on an overnighter. So we rode up through here. We, we parked right where I'm parked now. And we came up here and we rode and we made a circle back off. We didn't come the same route I did. We came off through the hills up there and then dropped down here. And they call this the West Fork. So we dropped down here into the West Fork. And we went up there and had a camp. And one of my friends went up on the side of the mountain up there. And I seen him and he came back down. Said he found an old cliff dwelling up there. Now, the main cl cliff dwellings are, are uh, down the creek here, several miles. But it's a big old, that's it, you know, the national parks or whatever uh, run it. So it's a tourist thing, you know, you, you, I think you even pay to get in, I'm not sure. I've been to it before. But I wanted to see if, the, if I could find this one that's, that's, that's out here by itself. I, mean, I bet there's more if a guy was to really look. But I, I searched and searched on the internet, talked to people. I couldn't find anybody who knew exactly where this was at. So I thought, shoot, let's go see if we can find it. So we'll see. I'm going to probably cook me something for breakfast here. Drink me another cup of hot coffee. Keep remembering, I'm not in a hurry, I'm not in a hurry, I'm not in a hurry, I'm not in a hurry. Let this burn down a little bit and I'll cook my steak for breakfast. I didn't eat anything last night. It was wet and I was tired and my messenger wasn't working. And I kept thinking, I mean, it looked like it was really going to rain. And it never rained last night that I know of. Everything's wet this morning, but uh, not from the rain. Just from the dew and the rain yesterday. Pretty nice. Man, let's have some steakums. <laughs> Man. This is like a ribeye in the mountains. For breakfast, no less. Lori, come here, Lori. Lori. Come here, Lori. Hello, P. Here. Here. Don't bite my finger. Lori. Oh, come here, Iris. Iris, come here. Iris. 
Come here, Arya. Come on around. Come here, Iris. Iris, come here. No, P. Iris, come here. P, no. Iris, come here. Cheers. Fat Lori, come here. Come on. Come on, be bashful. Come on. Come here, Iris. Let me get you some, Iris. I can't eat it all. Iris, Iris, no P. P, no. Iris, come here. You got one dog's bashful and the other one wants it all. Iris. 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 Ah, she got it good. That's a good steak, but I just can't eat it all. Nothing gonna get you. Why? Somebody hit you before? Step forward, step forward, step forward, step, step. That's all you gotta do. Just come to me. Got a little shade in there now. I think I'll have me a smoke. I'm not in a hurry. Not in a hurry. <clears throat> guy at the smoke shop gave me a sample of this really, really supposedly good tobacco. So I'm gonna have me just a little smidgen of it. Not much, just a little bit. It's real moist. That's good. And that's real good. It's real uh, mellow, smooth. Whew. Well. This was a good camp. Pour me a little bit of water on the fire, make sure it's out, then I'm out of here. Load up the mules. Whew. Gonna go see if I can find those dwellings, or that cliff dwelling, or those cliff dwellings, whatever they were. There it is. We're gonna have to go up there and take a look. Oh yeah, right here's where we camped, I think. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh. I'm gonna tie up right here.
bet they had it all blocked off. And this was one of those little jump through doors. But I wonder, why did they have these little shooting holes like that? Or just to look out. And then that's rock. Look at this. Piece of wood. I would go around to that big cave, but I'm no desert drifter. I'm not a mountain climber. I'm just a poor old cowboy mule skinner. Whoo! They even had fire right here. This might have been blocked off at one time. Right in here. Then I'm sure that this wall was blocked off. I bet that was the entryway over there. And they had all this blocked off and it, over time, maybe vandalism, people have knocked it down. Oh, what's pretty cool is check this out. There's another cave right up there. If you can see it with this little camera. Right up there. But I see no way to get to it. And I'm no mountain climber. Oh, well. Been a good couple days. Let's go ahead and get out of here. That big cave over to the right there, it didn't go very far in there. It was just more of an indention than a cave. I talked to a friend of mine that had been all over this country after I got back, and I told him about finding the, this old cliff dwelling. Lots of people have been in it. He told me about some other places, some that's on private land that nobody has been to except him and maybe a couple other people. And then there's some more that's on public land that he gave me directions to go find. So now that I got Bonnie and Clyde going real well, we'll do some exploring. And I'll take my cameras, and you guys can go with me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, ask questions, all that stuff. Thanks, guys. Till next time, onward and upward.